Are you able to see my screen? Everybody? Yes. Yes. Right. So yesterday we left at only um, that bucket creation and also that upload the files right in the bucket and through the AWS CLI and your cloud query, the external software. So now uh, today two things is pending in the bucket side, the S3 side that some CLI comments are missing, right? That I have to complete this thing. And next I will create one database and try to connect this database. Okay, Kaushik, one question. Yes, 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 yes. Before you start, okay. Uh, can we get a cheat sheet for CLI? Yes. Yes, yes. CLI cheat sheet, okay, I'll okay. provide. Thank that means uh, that uh, what comment I have used, this okay, comment okay. I will share it, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which yeah, comment I have okay. used in this game? That, that comment I will share. Okay, okay. Again, I'll okay. create one bucket. I'll see that there's no bucket actually. Bucket was not missing. This is my bucket that currently I'm creating the bucket and then try to upload something and from that CLI. So for the CLI, I need one thing extra. That is your IAM for the user access key and secret key. These two things are required. We can go into the IAM setting. And trying to create one user. So we see that I'm uh, only one user and I create another user for that. That is new user. So create and I require this access key and attach the JSON policy for S3. Where I need the SD full access. This is a addition and normally the addition looks like these things.
Hello. Hello. Hi, my screen is visible, right? Yes. This is actually some problem was there. Just. Hello. that something is missing in A command was missed, so recursive command should be there. So you can see the upload. I've uploaded uh, entered thing in that bucket. So that it will refresh that one. Okay. So these things are present over there. And same way we can also download, means if the bucket is present and we are want to download the folder, only this command, if I create one folder, that download. Okay. Okay. Also upload and also download from the server. From the I 
for that case your code should be just reverse Creation mode, and you want to download in that part. Let's try to. Meet. Okay, I'll do download this thing. Okay. You see what I mean? It's only one file is downloaded or not that I'm keep. You can see this file is downloaded, but when I try to download at a time, that time the problem is there. The first one to do recursive method. So, first, this in this thing. Yeah. 
thinking. Something I'm missing, just a minute. Hello? Hello? Yes, yes, it's there. So recursive was missing. So both way upload and download this method should be there. You can see that total files also downloaded in my local system, right? So recursive method, it's sync between your local file system and your AWS. So that's why it's coming. Any question? Hello? And last use case that you have one bucket. You have create one bucket. Pass over there. AWS. Hello. Hello, audible. Hello. Yes, yes, Kaushik. Yes, you are audible. Okay. New bucket. I create another bucket from that CLI. And then I want to. Um, new bucket is already there. And, is, and remember, one thing the name of the bucket is globally unique. Okay. Once you have created, you can see the bucket name, bucket is created. Okay. So you're going to check that bucket is present or not. You can see two bucket is there, right? New bucket. Now, my one use case is that if I want to transfer particular one file to another bucket from the CLI inside that bucket, so how can do that? So this is that command AWS S3, your CP, now in your case is three and your bucket is uh, bucket creation demo that is on bucket bucket and demo and inside that bucket I have one file that is your asset manifest or JSON. Asset if in manifest yes. 
then I want to transfer this thing in the new bucket. It's new. This file I want to move. That's it. Some spelling I have missed. I think that A S S E T A S S E T A S S A S S E T. You can see that uh, this file is there in my new bucket. Asset manifest JSON is copy. Yes. Right. So I can copy from one bucket to another bucket. One minute. Huh? Just I mute one minute. Just to sorry for the interruption. Hello. So uh, this is all the use case of this. Yes, coach. You yes, can coach. upload, download, you coach. can switch your all the things. So this hmm. comment I will post, okay? Sure. That it's a, in, in our group or I'll create some files and, and upload these things. Now question is that if I have one project in my bucket, Okay, entire project. So that is your total project, I believe, and you have to make it public. And then you click that one. Um, This is my project, but it is here. But I have own domain, then how I can upload this thing, right? So that is the use case. So for that, uh, one we have one service that is called your route 53. In the route 53, if you come and so so this is my entire one form that for is 
this thing i will i want to do this way means you can see that your bucket name and your region name also be there but if i want to host this as a my website right like this one www.hositday.com so this if i will i want to do this kind of things so that time i have to purchase some domain you can purchase from the godaddy so many places you can purchase the domain but after purchasing the domain you have to in aws you have to exchange some name servers means uh, uh, that is the place you will go route Three. Okay, this is one service where all route. Uh, this is the page. So in your dashboard, you can see that your dashboard and your traffic management, your policy over there, and you have to go to your posted jobs. Some problems. So your hosted jobs, you have to click there, and your domain name you have to provide, which domain name you have to purchase, right? I'm not uh, describing this in because I have I don't have any domain, but the place where you have to provide your domain name, description, and your uh, this public or this hosted thing, and then you have to create these things. Let's see, I have create that course in there dot com. This uh, right here, right? Let me see. And then you have to provide some description and create the host here. In our outfit. It will come. It will take some moment. You can see this place is there, right? This is your name server. By default, AWS provides this thing. This course is the .com I don't have, but this is your name server. Name server means this is a routing part. This cop these places you have to copy and you have to configure in your domain. Means suppose you have dom purchased your domain from that uh, godaddy.com, right? So their server configuration on page should be there. And the server configuration page, you have to provide this domain. And after configuring all things, it will take anti, uh, that 24 hours, I think that. And when you hit with this domain, it will redirect to the S3 buckets, AWS S3 bucket. You can also create the record. Hello? Yeah. In the, in the record, you have to record name, subdomain, if any subdomain is there or not. This domain you have to provide over there. And okay. there will be record to best. Okay. This is a place okay. where you have to configure. Means currently in it is in the AWS, right? Means this URL you cannot provide it to the client, right? Means uh, that uh, this place is not about the S3 bucket. So in the route 53, you can routing yeah, the the routing from here. Place. Okay, is that clear, right? Yeah, yeah, got it. Yeah, yeah. 
so routing means you know routing means globally unique means your routing in the angular mm. react same thing means you know routing one here routing means your request request should be routed from your uh -huh, main yes. server to that part wherever you right so this i want to mean to say that i don't have any uh, custom domain so that's why i don't see when you don't mm. see this part uh, but uh, okay, okay. if you are con configured this thing you can easily load okay. these things but it requires some time or i think 24 hours is required so it will provide it there. but uh, we cannot provide this type of url to the client right it's not the use case hmm, they yeah. was, it's hosted in the amazon so you have to configure and yeah. to customize this part okay so this Got is it. one use case another thing is that and tomorrow i'll provide one ci cd pipeline how you can create but one thing in the rds this is also important where your database management system is there right means if suppose you have my sql or sql server so how we can connect how we can create our tables how we can create the records let's see i am trying to create one my sql server sql workbench i don't have but I have my skill one minute, just have to cheat. And then and also providing one demo that a Docker, how can you configure in your EC2 instance? Demo I'll provide. Just a minute, first I have to my screen log into the clip. Yeah, this is your my skill workbench where you have to set up something. Trying to connect. So you can see the RDS relational database system. Okay. So same thing you have to create the database. Now go and create the database. So your option is that standard clear and easy clear. Standard clear means your configuration options, backup, maintenance, all are this is a managed service. So AWS can manage. Managed service means you no need to worry about the configuration infrastructure. AWS will provide this. So you can see lots of engine the MySQL, MariaDB, MySQL Server, Oracle, PostgreSQL. Amazon Aurora, everything is there, right? In my case, I'm trying to use these things. MySQL compatibility option. We can see that lots of availability options are there. So I'm going to create some dev test environment for the production. From laptop working. Yes. You can see that lots of version is there. So I am creating that RDS, Amazon Aurora. Database name, custom database. Username, remember admin. Admin. And also password, you can auto make the auto generated password or your own password. So in my case, I will create OC.
now so db instance class that memory optimized class and two classes are there so by default it's selected so it provides two cpu and 16 gb ram right so their option is also there so as per your requirement you can choose means if you large production database if you working so many tables so many data then you can take the basically large in my case i will take the two cpu for the dtu purpose now connectivity by default one vpc is there and you also create your vpc so it's a virtual private cloud so public access i think i think the version for the available database so public access is not there try to create invalid password So I'm trying to add okay used on my internet phone Why don't have any permission? By default, is there any database? No. Um, and you can see that the this is the end point okay it's going to create That is splitting, it takes some time. I think like actions. This is the in point, and this is the port. Now, let's see. This is your connection link. And trying password, username, admin, and password. And the password and trying to create a test connection. Unable to connect, so that some problem is not understanding. 
So this is the host name and here you provide that path. So it's creating. It takes some time to create. Endpoint you also create from there means that connectivity from here you also create this thing. Just try to keep the connection. I think it's some problem. Is I think in the database this it might be one problem so creating the database in the Aurora. This thing will be there, but it, it is the way you can create the database from your uh, local connectivity and the RDS. So in the RDS you have to choose any of one database and then you have to click and then copy the URL and paste. Some problem is there, but it is the way, and after connectivity, you can perform all the things. Means you can write your query, write your performance inside everything you can see from there. So, this is let's see that tomorrow, if possible. So, something was problem in my account, so I'll rectify this. This does not create this thing. I'll be operation moment on me. It's showing creating the status is showing creating. So anything else, create another one. Trying to create another one.
it takes some time for creating the database for these instances. So tomorrow I'll show this demo at DSL for EC2 computer and demo. These two things are pending. But DS I have to create and then because I think some problem is there or something is limited access to my account. I have to check my account from the admin. Okay. Not I'm checking okay, okay. right now. I'm just checking and this connect some error is there, so that's why the connectivity is not working. This is the connectivity, right? Means the test connection is failing. So that should yeah. not be there. So if once you log in and then you will enter inside the database. That demo I'll show you tomorrow. Okay. Huh. Yeah. Is there any questions or not, right? No, no, no. Really no questions. So RDS um, is uh, there and also the Docker instance you will create in the C2 that also these two things also because EC2 also is three also right in the EC2 instance. Uh, yeah. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Order. So, the other things you want? Uh, currently, so no. Actually, Kaushik, we need the commands for that. Ah, so, right. this command I will provide, but because uh -huh. of, um, this is All the CSS training, okay, so everything uh -huh. I will not cover at a time. Uh -huh. Okay, so for the developer Running perspective, uh -huh. for the uh -huh. developer perspective, what is needed that I have provided. This uh -huh. database is very essential. S3 huh. and EC2, these three things, okay? okay. And I provide the demo that these things and also how to connect to the application yes. that I have to see tomorrow. Okay. This thing will provide tomorrow. That's the last day. And huh. tomorrow I'll create one end to end thing that you create some data, you can connect with that Node.js and Node.js you connect to the AWS. This thing will provide. This thing or otherwise or any Docker instance, if, if the time permits, then I'll show. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Cool. Okay, then stop my sharing, okay? Sure, thank you. How about any questions, anything? Bye then, Yeah. Thank you. Mm. Thank you.